Right, the next technique on the list is called parting wings. This technique tends to be a favorite among many, many Kenpoists. It's a lot of really cool, flashy, uh, tight, powerful strikes all at once. It's taught against a two-handed push, and I'm going to show this technique from a couple of different angles. But uh, in yellow belt, what happened when we had a two-handed push is we stepped off to the side and we went to the outside of this push. We treated it just like a punch. What we're going to do in parting wings is go up the middle. We're going to kind of bring our hands together part them apart, hence the name. So what's going to happen is I'm going to step back with my right foot. We end up in a left neutral bow at this point. Now my right hand, if you can see over here in the back, is going to kind of slip over here to the bottom and go straight into his rib cage underneath his left pec. If you guys notice at the same time that this uh, right hand struck, my left hand came over to uh, my right shoulder. Let me try that again. So we're going to step back. I'm going to stop him dead in his tracks. We need to check his depth. When the guy pushes us, he's throwing a lot of momentum towards us. And unless we're stepping out of the way, we need to actually bring him to a halt. So let's try that first step again. All right, so we stop him at this point. Now my left hand right now is set up beautifully to do a, a sword strike into his larynx. So right now I'm in a left forward bow. I'm going to shift to a left neutral bow, strike up here into his throat. Now at this point, I'm going to check down his center line with my left hand. And I'm going to throw a right eagle's beak into his solar plexus punching over my own arm, just like we did in alternating maces. And we'll end our technique there. Go ahead and try it from another angle. Okay, so he's stepping in. I'm going to show this step by step a couple more times. Uh, I want you guys to notice uh, how I cut corners on this technique right here. When he throws a push, what you should really start to think about in purple belt is rounding off your corners. What I mean by that is if you guys watch my right hand right here, you don't want to make everything square as it goes in. One of, the, one of the key components to Kenpo, and one of the reasons Kenpoists look so fast when they do their techniques is they're rounding their corners. They're technically always in motion. They're never stopping. So it tends to look like they're moving a lot faster than they really are. This kind of rounds off this. Right, so I'm going to go a little faster this time. 